Hello and welcome. I'm Vincent McCory and this is Africa 54. First tonight, uh, the body of beloved South African icon Nelson Mandela is lying in state in Pretoria for three days ahead of his Sunday funeral. For more, we turn to viewers Anita Powell, who joins us now live via Skype from Johannesburg. Anita. Hi. So today, thousands of people lined the streets of Pretoria for their chance to say goodbye to the man everyone here calls Tata. I was there. The cortege left the hospital early Wednesday. Thousands of people lined Pretoria streets to see Mr. Mandela's flag-draped coffin pass by. Some chose to honor Mr. Mandela by reflecting South Africa's diversity. The clothes that I'm wearing today is my traditional attire, as we know that Madiba was a cos was coming from the Kosa clan and also is a Kosa, so this represents actually his uh, Madiba. So we thought that today, because it's a special day for him, so let's just wear the traditional attire just to represent him and accompany him. Mr. Mandela's body will lie in state through Friday, here at the seat of government in Pretoria. President Jacob Zuma accompanied members of Mr. Mandela's family as they paid tribute to a man revered for fighting the racist apartheid system. Thousands of mourners passed by the coffin, including former South African presidents. Paulo Gutierrez was among the mourners who left tributes outside. I just think that just being part of this is being part of history. This is being part of an icon moment and being part of this leader and saying goodbye. That's right. Anita, you said you were there. Can you share with us that moment? Yes, so I had an unexpected chance to pass by myself uh, by Nelson Mandela's coffin. And I have never met Nelson Mandela. So this was a strange and rare opportunity. And it was surreal. It was very strange. I only had about 15 seconds at most. And I couldn't think of what to say. And, and I wish that I'd been able to just stop and tell him, just thank you. Thank you for making this country such a great and interesting and complex one and for contributing so much mm -hmm. to this country and the people of this country who I've just grown to love. And um, it, was, it was a very strange moment for me as a journalist, but, but a wonderful one, one that I will treasure always. And how was the mood generally? <laughs> it, was, it was much more somber than yesterday's big memorial service at the F&B Stadium. It was, it was extremely personal. You saw people going by the coffin and making, making signals, making signs. Some people were crossing themselves. Robert Mugabe nodded his head. His wife, Grace, attempted to curtsy. Uh, people were really able today to show in their own way how they felt, to make their own small gesture to Nelson Mandela. And it was, it was very powerful. Very briefly, uh, describe to us the process after the three days of lying in state. His body is going to be flown to his ancestral home of Kunu this weekend. And on Sunday, there will be a family burial in Kunu. This will not be open to the public. It's going to be very private and very, very personal. Do you know if a uh, U.S. delegation will be there at the bearer? We, we do not have the guest list. Um, we, we don't know exactly who's going to be at this event. The government hasn't publicized that at this point. We can guess, but we, we don't know. Uh, but I think this is going to be a little bit closer than, than, you know, diplomats and dignitaries. They had their chance today. I think this is going to be family and friends. In a few seconds, uh, you, have, you have any information about the guy we were told who was doing some interpretation for uh, the head of hearing? <laughs> My answer to that is... Nothing. I'm joking. No, we did hear about that guy. That was quite a story, and we're still getting to the bottom of it. Well, we'll be watching. Thank you very much. Anita Powell from Johannesburg.